Spoiler alert, don't watch this video if you are planning to play this game. Boo! AI voice. Hello. My name is Drunker and today, we'll be playing Nancy Drew. Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. I didn't upload anything in a week. So why not drop this video? Originally, it was supposed to be Secrets Can Kill. But I couldn't grab any footage at all. So, here it is. This video will show some highlights of my gameplay. As I don't want it to be too long. Anyways, let's start the highlights. Left a note that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So, here I sit, writing to you while I wait for the phone to ring. It's nighttime, and although part of me is dying to know what frightened Sally away, another part of me is starting to feel a little uneasy. I'll let you know what happens. Ever yours, Nancy. Rotten floorboards, watch your- Fatality. Hey, it's Sally. We have to talk fast because I'm in my car and my cell phone's running low, so we might get cut off. But did you see my note? Yes, are you all right? No, I feel awful bailing on you like that. You must think I'm such a flake. I'm just worried about you. What's wrong? I couldn't stand the thought of spending another night there. I knew you were on your way, but it didn't help. I just got too scared. You make it sound like the house is haunted or something. Not the house. The woods. Just wait until it gets dark. Then you'll see. What am I saying? Nancy, you shouldn't be there by yourself either. Why don't you just go get in your car and go home? Or drive to Philadelphia. My aunt's got plenty of room. Nowhere. They're outside howling and snarling. Teeth and claws. Horrible. Dogs? Hello? Did you say dogs? Hello? What is that? The moon's so bright, I won't need my flashlight. Something's out there. Now look what you've done. That was a Strix Varia. At least I think it was. What were all those noises out here just now? That was me, Miss Nancy Drew, calling in birds. And doing a pretty good job of it, too, till you showed up. Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation platform just up the path. Kinda my base camp. And I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Don't really need it. Are those the ghost dogs? Yes, ma'am. Which is why I think it would be a good idea if I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house. This is not good. A face only a gnome could love. Oh, the key broke off. It's locked. There's got to be another way to get this open. <laughs> there. 
Welcome to M's Emporium. I'm Emily Griffin. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying out at the old Malone place. You know, the house Sally McDonald bought. Now what's she doing inviting guests out to that old dump? She's got a little problem she's hoping I can solve. But right now, I need a chainsaw. A chainsaw? Hello, can I help you? Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Sally McDonald. Are you the park ranger? Park ranger Jeff Akers, at your service. Let's see, Sally McDonald is the woman who bought the old Malone place. That's her. Unfortunately, she seems to have developed a problem of the canine kind. Don't tell me she believes all that ghost dog stuff. Does that mean you don't? There's always a logical explanation for everything. Whatever's out there, I'm sure they're no more and no less than exactly what they look and sound like. Dogs. Living, breathing, very noisy, dogs. Well, I don't see any hawks, but this is probably the tree Red was talking about. At least it was the tree. That sounded like a hawk. Hey, what is that hawk standing on? Oh, that looks like a speaker. Uh. Huh? I better get out of here. <gasps> My arms and legs are tied. I can't move. At least I can kick. If I could just get that scythe down, I could use the blade to cut the rope around my wrists and free my hands. This thing burn up. I've got. Leaves that appear on a fresh spring tree make my birth different from the other three. When swans drift by on shimmering blue, I'm the one who plays in the summer dew. making that sound. It's
It's too dark. I need a flashlight. Oh, the batteries are going dead. I can't see a thing. I'd better go back. It's silly to try to explore this in the dark. So this is the speakeasy. Wow. Xander played by the pump, which is right here. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. So you're the ghost dogs. You look pretty real to me. Each color could match up with one of Malone's dogs, but what about those numbers? The wheel is gone. It 
600 pounds of gold bullion. Wow. Hey there, Nancy. Why, what on earth have we got here? I can't let Emily catch me. I can't let Emily catch me. Don't you shut that door on me, if Nancy I don't keep Drew. moving, Emily will catch me. There's plenty of gold here we can share. Nancy, wait. Let's talk about this. This can just be our little secret. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, remember? Nancy! The gold's all yours, Em. Enjoy it while you can. Dear Ned, as soon as I got out of the tunnels, Emily had left a door open. I called the sheriff. But when I led him back down the well to the room where I left Emily, she refused to leave. He and his deputies finally got her out, but one of them said afterward that if he had to choose between getting a bear away from her cub and getting Emily away from that gold, he'd pick the bear. What's worse, by the time they took Emily away, the place was swarming with reporters from all over the country. The commotion has scared away every bird for miles. I'm pretty sure Red Knot would like to strangle me. On the other hand, when Ranger Akers found out that seven cars and two helicopters were illegally parked on park property and that he was going to get to ticket them, he was ecstatic. Tucker Davis finally cleared away that dead tree, which means I'm free to drive home. Moon Lake is beautiful, but I've had enough wildlife for now. Which reminds me, did I mention that those four ghost dogs are actually very sweet? They're so sweet, in fact, that Sally is seriously thinking about adopting them. How's that for irony? Ever yours, Nancy. Bess, hi, it's Nancy. I'm at this little amusement park on the coast. I wish I could say I was having a wonderful time, but the fact is, some pretty spooky things have been happening here. There have been some strange accidents, and the carousel, it starts up in the dead of night all by itself, like it's haunted or something. You know me, I don't get scared very easily, but I saw it myself, and I'll call you later. I've got to go. I've got to go right now. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Whenever I post. Bye.